Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront Hero Showcase. In this video we're taking a look at Nine Nub. Nine Nub is a Solaston pilot who led various rebel cells on his homeworld of Solast while maintaining a career as an active smuggler. He is equipped with a D817 blaster pistol and the developers describe him as a sniper engineer hybrid. But before we take a look at Nine Nub's abilities, let's take a look at his emotes. <laughs> Like all heroes and villains in Star Wars Battlefront, Nine Nub has three abilities. His first ability is his Rapid Pulse Cannon. This is a variation of the Pulse Cannon Star Card. This ability does more damage than the regular Pulse Cannon and it recharges at a much faster rate. It also has a different crosshair. This is Nine Nub's go-to ability because he's a long-range sniper, so you want to use his sniper as much as possible. It does a lot of damage. It's a one-shot kill on most infantry. It's very powerful. Nine Nub's second ability is his Augmented Turret. This is a deployable turret that upgrades as damage is dealt to other heroes or soldiers. The upgraded version of the turret locks on faster and fires explosive rounds. It only upgrades if he gains kills or damage on enemy heroes. So the more damage this turret does to enemies, the greater damage the turret does. It's very powerful to put into one position. Forget about it, let it do its job, and you go around on the other end of the battlefield killing people. So it's on one end killing people, you're on the other end killing people, and you're racking up kills. It's very effective. And his last ability depends on the map. On smaller game modes, Nine Nub is equipped with proximity mines. Up to four mines can be deployed at one time. On larger game modes, the proximity mines are replaced by an orbital strike ability, allowing Nine Nub to potentially deal a lot of damage and launch a strike that's much longer than a regular orbital strike so it lasts a lot longer and does a lot more damage and you can lay down fire on a position and do a lot of damage or you can put proximity bombs next to your turret if you're in heroes versus villains so if a villain comes up to your turret to try to take it out they explode and the turret starts firing on them taking a chunk of their health out Nine Nub is the only hero or villain to not really have a passive trait his trait is his turret, he places it down, and above his health bar he can see the turret's health, and if it's upgrading or firing or whatever it's doing, if it's active. So he doesn't really have a trait that really gives him a boost or anything, his trait is his turret. It is basically a separate body from him, it's doing its own thing, upgrading, doing damage. So you don't really have to worry about it unless it's taking a lot of damage and it blows up so you need to place another one. So he's the only hero or villain to not really have a trait. So as a summary, Nine Numb is mainly used as a sniper. A good strategy when using him is to find cover, use a turret to cover one of your flanks, and give yourself a small minefield on the same side of the turret. Then you can use his Rapid Pulse Cannon as his main weapon. His DH-17 pistol is mainly a sidearm used to protect himself should anyone get close to him. And it, it is unwise to charge into battle with him. He doesn't have near as much health as other rebel heroes because he's a sniper so he shouldn't really be in the battle. You need to place the turret at a vantage point where it is liable to get kills and also keeping away the Imperials as much as possible. If you're using him on a map like indoor you can hide proximity bombs in the trees so as Imperials run past they'll blow up. So he's very effective as a little trickster character and his pulse cannon is again very effective to snipe enemies and find cover peek out again, snipe enemies, so he should never really be in the front lines of battle, he should be back, his turret dealing damage, and he sniping people to death. Thank you so much for watching this video, if it helped you, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter to stay updated with Star Wars Battlefront 2 news, and ask me any questions, I'll always respond, I do polls sometimes, I do all sorts of things on Twitter. I'll be doing one of these videos for every other hero and villain in Star Wars Battlefront, so Greedo is next. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated, and may the Force be with you.